How's it? Today we are going to be introducing coding uh, to you. Uh, you had watched a video and learned about the basics and how a computer program is basically a series of steps that a computer can follow. And the computer uses computer languages to understand and different types of code to run these programs. We have algorithms that are step-by-step -step ordered instructions that the computer can follow. And they have functions which are mini programs within uh, the program. We have loops that repeat a set of instructions over and over. And we have iterating, which is fixing or refining your code. So you can be a perfectionist and make sure the code is correct and uh, find an error. And if there is an error, there might be a bug, which is a mistake in the code. And then we have conditional statements. If something is true, then do this. If it's false, then do that. And the variable is the value that can change depending on the conditions. So let's put these in practice and algorithms. We talked about step-by-step -step instructions. I'm going to go to scratch.mit.edu and right there. And what we're going to do is a simple program uh, under tutorials and getting started. Okay. So this is our little scratch uh, programming uh, basis. Okay, and this is the tutorial that we can uh, look at to follow the instructions. Okay, so here are motions, looks, sounds, events, controls, and all of these are different sprites and commands that we can basically just click and drag over to our workspace. And this is the image or picture that will show as a result of our code. Okay. So if you hit play, you can kind of watch that video and see what to do. And we have a moving block and it tells us to move 10 steps. So we're going to click and drag, make sure it's under motion, click and drag and put move 10 steps. Okay. Next, it says that we're going to have it say hello. So you're going to go under looks. Okay. And you're going to say say hello for two seconds. Okay, but instead of just saying hello, you're going to click, double click in here, and you're going to have your name. So, hello, Mr. Mark. Now, do not put Mr. Mark. You're going to put your name. Okay, put your name for that part. Okay, and that's for two seconds. And next for the tutorial, it says we are going to put the green flag, which is the operation. Okay. So click on events, and when this is clicked, kind of like an if-then statement that we learned about, the conditioning, if the flag is clicked, then move 10 steps and say hello for two seconds. So if you watch our little cat, if I click on this flag, he moved two seconds and said, hello, Mark, Mr. Mark. And we did that. Now, that was just the basics. So you're going to be able to have your cat okay, do some interesting, other interesting things that you can add to it. Okay? So you can come in here and you could um, move him, click and move him 15 degrees and then see that? Looks like, or you can move him uh, 45 degrees. Okay? See that? So every time you click him, he's going to go in a circle instead of to the side. Okay. Um, you could go in here and change uh, random position. Okay. So when you hit play, he goes to a random position and he turns. Okay. Isn't that fun? So go ahead and explore. Okay. You can do glides, point to your direction. There's a lot of different motions. Okay. Um, and looks <clears throat> and events. Uh, but right now we're doing events when you click the flag. You can also do events when you like click um, the cat. So when the sprite is clicked, which is the cat, you could like do a meow sound. See, start sound meow. Okay. And then you click him and he's going to meow. Okay. So that's kind of fun. Uh, what we can also do is change the background. If you scroll down here, we have it's called backdrops. So I'm going to go in here and click on the backdrop, okay? And then I'm going to hit choose a backdrop, 
And you can go ahead. I like basketball. Okay, so I'm gonna choose a basketball um, theme. And he's gonna be balling it up here in the playground right here. Okay. <clears throat> and there you go. So go ahead and um, make your sprite or cat do different things. Okay. Um, you can even add another character. See, there's a basketball guy. Okay. You can even add a different character so that when you uh, click him, it does something. Or if you click. So go ahead and make your scene do something creative with the tools that I taught you. Uh, with your sprites and your logarithms and make sure you uh, doesn't have any bugs in your code and then when you're finished okay you're gonna take a screenshot of this okay and when you take a screenshot make sure it, it shows the name so remember it said like hello mr. mark okay so take a screenshot and make sure it says that okay Notice it disappears really fast. And if you have a hard time seeing Hello Mr. Mark, it's only two seconds, you can change that to maybe 10 seconds and he'll do it longer. Okay, and you can take that screenshot easier. So have some fun with Scratch and your programming.